The great story here for anybody willing to find it and write about it and explain it is this vast right-wing conspiracy. That it's no secret that we're going up against some pretty powerful forces that will do and spend whatever it takes to advance a very different vision for America. running for President of the United States. The people want to know Hillary. The Hillary that I knew back here in Arkansas. When she was in the Benghazi hearings, when she said, what difference does it make? They're dead. What difference at this point does it make? That's the Hillary I know. We came, we saw, <laughs> he died. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Secretary Clinton. Would you sign this for me? Sure. What's your name? Um, if you can make it out to Christopher Stevens. I think you know him. Oh, no, yeah, I'm not going to make it out to yeah. Chris Stevens. What difference does it make? Here it goes, here. Yep. Senator Clinton has extraordinary ability to obfuscate, uh, refuse to answer questions, avoid uh, confrontations, and uh, up until now has been given a pass on it. A story in the New York Times talking about why Senator Clinton voted this way, because I think some people were surprised by it. And her advisor said that she voted yes because she was moving from primary mode to general election mode. Primary mode versus general election mode? How about tell the truth mode? How about we say the same thing in the primary that we say in the general election? We know that Hillary's an insecure person. Secure people don't lie. They don't lie inveterately the way she does. Hillary Clinton points to her time in the White House as a large part of her qualification for the job as president. But most of the news media has conveniently forgotten that her time as first lady was mired in controversy. The core of the controversy is how truthful Mrs. Clinton has been in answering questions, sometimes under oath, about Whitewater and other matters. She was the first First Lady to come under criminal investigation. In both Little Rock and Washington, D.C., she was plagued by numerous scandals. I finally parted company with Hillary Clinton when I saw how she was using private detectives to investigate the women who were linked to her husband. Not to change him, not to reform him, not to make him a better person, but to cow the women into silence so that he could get elected president. I do not want that woman controlling the IRS or the DEA or the NSA or the FBI or the CIA. Not in a democracy, I don't. One thing about Hillary, they were just a good timing guy. But Hillary, She's an animal. Hillary is the one that I promise you, she pulls the strings. She pulled them in Arkansas. She pulled them in the White House when she was there as the First Lady. And my God, if she gets to be president. Take a deep breath and relax and just, you know, sit back because here they come again. We're going to have to just ride through this as we have so many of these other um, false accusations.